Shivarajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is how to create harmony with her. We are talking about strategies and dynamics on how to relate to your ex. Especially for instance if you have to work together, if you live together, if you um, you know socialize in the same places or are still in the same social circle, if you have you know to do business with her if you are neighbors, you know, there are tons of situations where you will be interacting with your ex, maybe just because you want to be in touch. And so the question for you is, how do you create harmony? What do you need to sustain harmony? The reason why you want harmony is because when you see each other and you start clashing, you start clashing really hard, and then you have this fight, and then you get drained, and then you apologize to each other, or maybe not, and then you see each other again, and then you clash again. It can get really draining. Lots of energy can go into that. And it's not necessarily pleasant for you or for her. And so the ability to access peace, love, harmony at will is a very powerful skill. I'm going to give you a few techniques here that you can use straight away to build up harmony with her, harmony with your ex, harmony inside of you. The tip number one is that you need to be able to access the harmony pathways at will inside of you. It means that if you don't know how to tap into harmony yourself, you know, go back to peace, go back to harmony, then when you are exposed to her in more challenging situations where she's triggering you or trying to hook you trying to invite you into a fight, how are you going to resist or solve that if you don't know how to hold into this harmony even when you are by yourself? So if you see her and you are extremely charged already and you are really bitter and angry, a simple poke, a simple emotional trigger will probably send you into spinning into anger and frustration and you might become really aggressive towards her. And so the idea is really this. First, master your inner game. It's not sequential, okay? You can still interact with her, but this is the place where it starts. You need to be in a place where you know how to access love, harmony, and peace by yourself. There are tons of techniques on that on my website, vitalcoaching.com. So emotional, energy release, meditation techniques, and so on. You can go and check it out on vitalcoaching.com. And I give you some more tips on this program as well. The second tip, the second strategy is if she invites you into fight, if she starts triggering you or she's angry or, you know, in the zone, don't fight back. Stay present, take the blast, and don't respond to the inner, to the triggers or the invitations to fight. A simple way to do that is to remove yourself out of her presence. You go like, look, it looks like there is tension in the field right now. I'm not interested in fighting with you. I'm not interested in arguing with you. I love you. You're a great woman. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Okay? So you can do that physically. You can do that on social networks if she's texting you or calling you. Especially when you're on the phone, this is potential trigger zone like phone calls are potentially explosive in many ways because very often you start chatting and then you end up um you know staying in this, in this conversation for too long stretching it for too long and so what you want to do is to have a exit strategies that are really effective so that's tip number two tip number three is keep on reinforcing positive energy when you interact with her you know, compliments, validation, gratitude. You keep on coming back to that. Hey, let's be at peace. Let's go back to this diplomacy and respect. And so it takes a little bit of communication skills to be able to do that and sustain it. But eventually you notice that the moment you are able to do this, the moment you are able to stay in, uh, in harmony and presence,
without engaging into the fight, without engaging into the triggers. This has the potential to create a very powerful sense of connection and reestablish you know, positive ways of relating to each other. Especially if you have children together or if you have to work together on a project, for instance. You know, you want to be able to access these harmony tactics anytime you want so that you sustain healthy, respectful, diplomatic connection with her. I'll see you soon.